Hello and welcome. You are watching Bhavishya. I am your host AP. Friends, today I am going to tell you about the LVDT experiment. That means what we have to do in this experiment. Friends, according to me, performing the experiment is not a big issue. But what to do and how to perform the experiment is major factor. So let's see each and everything about LVDT. So keep watching. Here we can we can see that this is the total arrangement of the LVDT. That means this LVDT consists of LVDT kit and movable code. This LVDT stands for linear variable differential transducer, or you can say that it is the linear variable differential transformer. Now let's see what is the M apparatus theory of this experiment. So the aim of this experiment is the study of displacement characteristic of LVDT in AC and DC. That means you have to make two observation table and you have to determine AC and DC mode both. Apparatus required for this experiment is LVDT kit, CRO and wire. The circuit diagram is shown here. Friends, I will suggest you that before going to perform this experiment, prepare your theory. Now, here with theory, advantage, disadvantage and application and procedure all are provided. So you can refer from here also or you can go for Google. Now let's see what is the actual connection for AC part and after that we will see for the DC part. So friends, this is the main part for AC observation. Okay. Now connect this both terminal, this both terminal, and from here B are both connected to each other. You can connect here to here or here to here. But I suggest connect here to here. Now this AC A and C are for the your output terminal and from here to here you can connect your input terminal this amplitude adjustment is given so by using this knob you can vary your amplitude so first vary this knob and observe your suitable out suitable input frequency at a CRO now for both CRO knob connect one knob connect for the input and another knob for the output so remember this input and output this input and output of observation table or observation is more important for your face i will going to tell you what is the face first let's see this connection after connecting this you can see here the connection of for the ac part okay now after connecting the AC part move the core from maximum 20 to 0 and 0 to minus 20 and note down the reading now after taking reading move to the DC part before moving to DC part do one thing uh, take the face difference or face angle for maximum and minimum displacement that means at a positive 20 determine the uh, phase difference and at a minimum 20 determine the phase difference by observing the input and output wave on a CRO now let's see what is the connection for AC DC part okay. now for DC part it's a also simple connection this AC part is remain as it is don't touch it just connect this a from here this b to here this c to here that means this input of ac this connection of ac become the input of this dc this knob is given that you should keep high and by adjusting this knob you can observe the output for dc observation connect this LO1 
to this red and this green to this black and now you can see the observation the same procedure for the DC also move the core from plus 20 to minus 20 here by taking observation you have to make the graph okay now you can see here this is the displacement in mm 20 18 16 to till minus 20 and this output for ac part and this output is in volt but output for dc is in millivolt remember this thing okay now this is the formula for phase shift phase shift if you don't know how to determine the phase shift then i will provide you a next video and to how to determine the phase shift for learning phase shift you can uh, you can watch my video okay now after taking the reading you have to make the graph and the graph shown like this and the phase shift is required because for ac you can see here your graph is like this that means its a phase difference is perfectly 180 degree that means we are from 0 and it is opposite that means 0 to 180 the difference phase difference between this in 0 to 180 it all things you will understand if you prefer your theory okay this is the DC characteristic graph and this is the AC characteristic graph so calculation part is that much that you have to determine the phase shift and after phase shift you have to determine the phase angle now result of this experiment the displacement characteristic of LVDT studied in AC and DC mode the displacement range of this device is 0 to 20 mm and if you go beyond the 20 mm the linearity property of LVDT disobeyed okay friends so we glad to help you thanks for watching our videos and keep learning keep helping because I help you that means Bhavish help you for helping the others so keep learning keep helping for more info subscribe our channel